Giuliani is and letting any poll numbers slow him down on the campaign trail. He stopped in Marietta today to talk with voters. And 11 Alive's Dennis O'Hare joins us from the newsroom with details on that visit. Uh, how did it turn out, Dennis? It was an enthusiastic group, Karen. Remember, Giuliani has one big lead in one big early state, Florida. Still, he's had a tough week. Uh, warts and all profile in Newsweek, allegations about expenses when he was mayor, that testy YouTube debate on CNN, plus the Huckabee surge. So Giuliani used his Marietta stop to tell Republicans to refocus on beating Democrats. <laughs> The former mayor was happy with the greeting he got from 93-year-old Maribel Billups. We must remember what he did for New York and for all of us. I want him to bring peace not only to the United States, but to the world. You think he can do that? I think he can do anything. That's exactly the presidential image Giuliani tried to project after a week of tough infighting among Republicans. He said he and his competitors agree on most things with the clear implication that he among them has the best chance of keeping a Democrat out of the White House. Every single Republican candidate that I can think of agrees that we should lower taxes. Democrats want to raise taxes. But supporters of one Republican opponent, Ron Paul, weren't about to concede and Giuliani did not go into the square to meet them. But based on his earlier statements, I think he would continue the war and I don't think that that's the right thing to do. And an anti-illegal immigration activist said he wasn't happy with what he said was Giuliani's answer to his question. Apparently coming over the border is a crime, but being here illegally is not a crime. I then reminded him that re-entry is a felony and we are deporting people for being here illegally. But the pro-choice Giuliani has the very public support of Georgia's pro-life House Speaker. And uh, as I say often, my wife and I don't even agree on everything, so uh, I, I support Rudy Giuliani. Now, national polls of Republican voters still show Giuliani slightly ahead. He trails in the early test states of Iowa, as you just mentioned, and New Hampshire. But as we mentioned, he has that big lead for the January 29th Florida primary. His Georgia stop was a chance to raise some money to keep that lead. Live in the newsroom, Dennis O'Hare, 11 Alive News. It won't be his last. Dennis, thanks.